Hello everybody, welcome to Equals and Alternatives episode two, where we will review the Starbucks Peppermint Mocha. Quickly, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who watched episode one, to everyone who commented, to everyone who answered the question of the day. There was a lot of valuable feedback from me in there, which I'm gonna continually try to implement as we work through these, um, whatever you wanna call them, these nutrition dilemmas, these uncovering hidden calories. Now the Starbucks peppermint mocha isn't by any means a healthy food choice, like the Kind Bar is to many people, right? We know that specialty drinks at Starbucks aren't good for you, but most of us don't know how bad and how caloric it is. So let's take a look at the numbers. Four cans of Coca-Cola comes out to 560 calories, 540 calories here for the, the peppermint mocha from Starbucks. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable for me even saying it. Now, what I will say to Starbucks defense, because between knocking on their high protein box and now choosing a specialty drink, um, I'm kind of coming after Starbucks, which is a company I don't dislike. I enjoy their specialty drinks. But what I will say is that this peppermint mocha is probably the worst thing you can get on the menu. It has 2% milk, um, whipped cream, mocha has more sugar than a latte. So you're adding like 20 to 25 grams of sugar or an extra 100 calories when you get the same all else equal mocha versus latte. So this is one of the worst drinks on their menu. Still, four cans of Coke is pretty absurd. Now, if we look at the macros, we are getting 16 grams of protein, which isn't bad by any means, and um, 18 grams of fat. So the breakdown is very different than Coca-Cola, which is straight sugar to make up those 560 calories, but all in the same, at the end of the day, from a weight gain, weight loss point of view, they're pretty close. Now, what should you get instead of the peppermint mocha, which isn't even on the menu anymore. It's January 6th, like holidays are over. I didn't get the cool red cup to match this, but they still served it to me, which is cool. Instead, a skinny peppermint mocha, um, which means skim milk rather than 2%, no whipped cream, and skinny mocha, which if you're interested, isn't actually sugar-free mocha. I know Starbucks makes sugar-free syrups that have zero calories. The, the skinny mocha does have some carbohydrates, just in case that sort of thing interests you. If you're fasting and you don't want to break a fast with those extra carbs, um, it's good to know. Let's taste them. Let's have a good one first. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's great. It's really good. I don't know what that was. It just felt right. There's honestly not a huge difference. I mean, obviously this is creamier, it's a little bit sweeter, it's a little bit better, but saving, someone saved me on math, 540, saving 370 calories, which is the difference between these two, and you're getting the same amount of protein here in the skinny as you are in the regular, it's an absolute no-brainer to me. All right, that's it. Um, I was supposed to come up with some sort of sign-off, which was on my to-do list and I absolutely botched it, so I will have to bring that out in episode three. Um, question of the day, let's, let's introduce yourself in the comment. Let me know who you are. I, I, a lot of you have been coaching clients or friends of mine or people I know in the fitness community, which is amazing, but there were a few names I didn't recognize, so introduce yourself. Say, hey, um, Tell me something about you because I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of interaction in the comments where we'll maybe dig deeper on what went on in the episode. So I would love to learn more about you, okay? All right, insert sign off, which will exist next week, I promise. <laughs>